Hi guys! With our Yeetbook Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugin, you can add advanced options to your products pages and show them in different styles. So for instance, you can add options in the form of checkboxes, radio buttons, labels, images, and more. You can also add date and time pickers so that customers can choose when they want to get the product delivered to their houses. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the date add-on. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we're going to be working with this product that we already created in one of our previous videos, the Pixa Delivery Service. We have this product that is $12 and in a previous video we added some toppings here with the label or image add-on and then we added some options to add a beverage using the checkbox add-on. So basically what we have here is a site where we sell pizza with a delivery service. Now we need to add a date and time picker so our customers can choose when they want to get the pizza delivered to their houses, okay? So let's go to the dashboard, eat product add-ons. And of course, we already have a block of options for these products. So we're going to just choose that here. We named it pizza. And we're going to add the options here. So what we're going to add is the date add-on. We're going to name this option delivery date. And we're going to add a label. Choose the delivery date. Let's scroll down. No tooltip, no description necessary, no image. I'm not going to change the price when they select the time and the date. So first option, date format. If we expand here, we see that we have different formats. I'm just going to leave the default option right here. Day, month, year. Now, year. Start year 2021. In year 2021, I'm going to set this limit so that they cannot choose a date that's prior 2020 or that's in the future next year 2022. Now, the default date. If you leave it as it is with the none option, the field will just simply be empty and the customers will only see the calendar icon. Now, if we expand here, we see that we have five different options besides none. So for instance, we have current date. Today is October 4th. So I would be showing that date as default date. If I select current date plus one, instead of October 4, customers will see October 5. Now we have the options to set a specific date, to set a time interval from the current date. And the last and the best option for us in this case is the first available date. That way, customers will only be able to choose the first available date that we set with the rules below to get their pizza delivered. I'm going to show you the rules in a couple of minutes. Let's just select first available date. Now, selectable dates. If we leave it as it is, set no limits, customers will be able to choose any date. We can instead set a range of days. So for instance, three days, maybe because we need time to prepare the product. In this case, a pizza might not need three days, but maybe it's another type of product that needs a process that needs to be prepared. So it needs three days before being delivered. And you can also set a specific date range. I'm just going to choose no limits here. Now, with the enable disable specific days option, we can set rules to enable specific days in the calendar. So for example, if the restaurant only delivers pizzas on Saturdays and Sundays, we can create a rule to enable only those days, okay? So customers will only be able to choose Saturdays and Sundays. They wouldn't be able to choose a random day like a Thursday or Monday to get their pizza delivered. We can also create a rule to disable days. So for example, we can disable Sundays because we cannot provide the service that day. So we just disable the day. So we're going to set the rule to enable 
only Saturdays and Sundays. So we're going to enable days of the week. We're going to choose Saturday and Sunday. As you saw before, you can choose days, so specific dates, days of the week like I just did, months or years. Now let's just save this as it is and go back to the site to see how this looks right now. Of course, after saving here, I have to save again here. Back to the side, and I'm going to refresh. Great. So there I have my title, delivery date, my label, choose a delivery date. Here I have the calendar icon and the default date. So why am I seeing October 9? because I selected the option to have the first available day shown here. And what days did I choose to have available? Just Saturdays and Sundays. So if we click here on the calendar icon, I can see that the first available date is Saturday 9. So that's why I'm seeing this date. And I can only select these options, Saturdays and Sundays. These are not selectable. You can see here how these are not clickable. But if I click here, I'm going to select the option to get my pizza delivered on that date. Now, let's go ahead and add the time picker so they can also choose the time when they want to get the pizza delivered, okay? I'm going to open the date add-on again and we're going to scroll down. So now I have to enable the time selector, so show time selector, yes. So now we have these new options, enable, disable time slots. If this option is disabled as it is right now, the customer will be able to choose any time they want to. There will be no limits and they will be able to choose a random time like 3 a.m. or 10 a.m. to get the pizza delivered. So we're going to enable this option because we don't want that. Let's see what rules we can create now. So we could, for instance, enable or disable specific time slots. So for example, in our case, we deliver pizza only from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., let's say. So we're going to set the rule for that. We're going to enable only these time slots from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. This way, customers will not be able to choose anything beyond 10 p.m. or any time prior to 7 p.m. Now, the time interval. You have a lot of options here and you can set this in seconds, minutes or hours. I'm going to choose a 30 minute interval there. So customers will be able to choose time slots that have this interval. So it would be 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10. This way you also prevent customers to choose random times like 7.19 or I don't know, 9.55, which sounds a bit weird. Let's save, save again. Let's go to the side to see how that looks now. We're going to refresh. Okay, so now if I click here, we see that we have the day picker and the time picker. So I can choose the next available date, which is Saturday 9. And as I said before, I set up a 30 minute interval between time slots. So it goes 7, 7 30, and so on. 10 would be the last time slot available. I'll choose 9 pm. And we have to click here to save. And let's add this to the cart. Let's choose some toppings and the beverage this price went up because the beverage has an additional price okay so we're going to add to cart view cart and this is what the customer would see the name of the product your pizza at home the toppings that they chose the beverage and right here i have the date and the time slot and of course it doesn't increase the base price of the product Okay guys, so that's how you can add a date and time picker to your product, whatever it is. In this case, it was a pizza, 
you can add it to a number of products to have the customers choose the delivery date for instance okay guys so that was it for our video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video